Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you enjoy contemporary and high-end handbags, small leather goods, some occasional conversation regarding makeup and food, you're going to want to take a quick second and hit that red subscribe button down below. Also make sure to ding the bell you see down there so that you are alerted to the next time I do upload a video. In today's video, I'm going to be comparing the Chanel flat card holder with the Chanel classic card holder. I'll give you all the similarities and differences between these two SLGs, show you how much they can hold, so that by the end of this video, if you've been contemplating one or the other or both, you will have enough knowledge to hopefully make the decision as to which one is right for you. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here is the Chanel flat card holder and here is the Chanel classic card holder. As you can tell, they both have the same height of three inches. Put them on top of each other and you will see that the length is also identical at 4.4 inches. Turn them to the side and you will see a noticeable difference in depth between the items. The flat card holder is 0.2 inches in depth, whereas the classic card holder is 0.8 inches in depth. So you've got a 0.6 inch difference in depth between the two SLGs. There is also a difference in price between the two items. The classic card holder you see right here retails for 550 US dollars currently in 2019, whereas the flat card holder retails for 425 US dollars. So if you're talking about a price difference between these two, it'll be a $125 difference. Now that I've given you the basic information as far as measurements and price go, I'll give you a quick tour of each of these small leather goods. I'll start with the flat card holder. As you can see right here, one card compartment in the front, two card compartments in the back, and then one open compartment at the top where you can put additional cards or some bills. The classic card holder features the classic Chanel flap style on the front. There's nothing on the back. Open it up and you've got one credit card compartment right here and then one large compartment in the center. If you recall, I did a video on both of these small leather goods individually. If you did not see them, I'll link to them down below as well as at the end of this video. Now what I'll do is pack each of these up so that you can see what they look like packed and ready to go. Here are both card holders. I packed them up identically. And what I mean by that is I put the exact same number of cards as well as the exact same number of bills into each one so that you can get an idea of what they look like should you want to pack them the exact same way. In the flat card holder here, we've got a total of six cards, the one in the front, the two in the back, and then you've got three in the top compartment as well. And you also have three bills that you see right here. Similarly, this classic flap card holder has got one card here, five more in the main compartment, as well as three bills. Now, if you recall from my video of the flat card holder, I do not like to put this much in that top compartment. I personally think it's too much of a strain on the leather. I don't want to run the risk of stretching this compartment out too much and then running into the problem of having this card holder, if it were to kind of go upside down, have its contents fall right out. So personally, I would not put all this in here. I would actually pick one or the other. I'd either do bills or cards. So for that reason, I'm going to show you how each look with one or the other in there. So what I'll do now is pull out the cash and show you what it looks like as purely a card holder. You've still got the two, three cards on the outside and then the three on the inside that you see right in there. And this classic card holder, still got the one there and then the five more cards in there. Now, if you wanna do a little of each, I will take out three cards from each of the card holders and put the money back in so you can get an idea of what it looks like that way. All right, here's the flat card holder with just bills now at the top. And now the classic card holder with three cards in total and the bills. 
The classic card holder has a larger capacity in the way of cards and bills compared to a flat card holder. In the various ways that I packed it just now, you saw that at the absolute max, and for me, the absolute max when it came to the flat card holder was a little more than I would be comfortable packing it, was six cards and some bills, three bills to be exact, when I packed it up here. I packed the classic card holder with the same number of bills, the same number of credit cards, and as you saw, there was a lot more space to work with. You could add more bills, you could add more cards if you wanted to do that. So you are limited as far as what you can carry with this one compared to the classic card holder, but this one is considerably larger. I mean, they're both small really at the end of the day, but when you're comparing them, this one is considerably larger. It's 0.6 inches bigger as far as the depth goes. So if the slimness of the small other good is a factor, that is something to keep in mind. This is larger in that regard. Height and length are identical. So it really at the end of the day will just depend on what you're looking for, what your preferences are. If you want something sleek and slim, don't need to carry too much, then you might want to go the way of the flat card holder. If you want something that's small yet has the ability to hold a lot more, you're going to want to go the classic card holder route. If you'd like both, then you get both. It really, it's just going to have to depend on what you're looking for at that point in time. So hopefully this video provided you with some insight into the capacity, the differences and similarities between these two items and ultimately helped you determine if one or the other or both are right for you. If you like this video, please do give it that thumbs up. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and ding the bell so that you are alerted to the next time I do upload a video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.